All right, uh, we have to start. Uh, today we are going to look at uh, the method of news reporting, the methods of news reporting. Reporting is a uh, gathering of the facts of news. I said again, reporting is uh, the gathering of uh, the facts of news. It can be said to be the entire process of getting news. In effect, it entails the eliciting of facts of news and therefore requires hearing, seeing, studying, perceiving, and substantiating events or happenings and all uh, the witnesses to such occurrences. Remember that news is an account of current and factual events or an event that is not yet known. The process of accounting for the event is reported while the news itself is the report. It therefore behoves the reporter to either determine what news is or enhance the determination of what is to be reported. Let me, think, let me repeat that place again. I say, it therefore behoves the reporter to either determine what news is or enhance the determination of what is to be reported. However, the act of writing the assembled facts to give a vivid and interesting account with consideration to the characteristics of the medium is referred to as news writing. To this end, the reporter's job is chiefly to collect information from different sources and assemble them during writing of news. The method of presentation is basically influenced by writer's idiosyncrasy, house style, nature of event, type of audience, available technology, and a magnification of ties. Not the rest. The most uh, frequently used method of reporting in contemporary journalism practice includes the following. One, sensational reporting. Sensational reporting. Uh, here is our overhyping events being deliberately controversial and uh, loud to obtain attention. I said it entails being deliberately controversial and loud to obtain attention. All right, next one is impressionistic reporting. In Impressionistic reporting is all about creating in the mind of the reader the way the reporter sees an event as an eyewitness. Creating in the mind of the reader the way the reporter sees an event as an eyewitness. Another one is investigative reporting. Investigative reporting or you can call it in-depth reporting in-depth reporting here it entails digging how it in, it entails digging deep to unravel or expose issues that ordinary reporting could not review digging deep to unravel or expose issues that ordinary reporting could not review next is interpretative reporting 
interpretative reporting. Here, the reporter offers details, explanations of event. Yes, offering of detailed explanation of, of the events. Now, the next one is threat reporting. Here, it means reporting objectively without embellishment. Reporting objectively without embellishment. Next is our team reporting. Team reporting. It entails reporting in groups to achieve common goals. Reporting in groups to achieve common goals. Another one is pack journalism. Pack journalism. Pack journalism. It entails combination of groups from different media organizations. So combine groups from media organizations. That's different groups combined together to achieve a specific goal. Now we have the next, which is precision reporting. Precision reporting. Here, the reporter applies research methods to gather news. It entails applying research methods to gather news. And uh, next one, not the least, but last for now is speculative reporting. Speculative reporting as planning issues that would instigate the thinking towards particular decision or direction. Planning issues that would instigate thinking towards particular direction. It instigate thinking of people towards particular direction. The viewers and the listeners, they think towards a particular direction. Uh, it would be apt to also take note of the conventional methods so as to help you have knowledge of many varieties. Yes, it will help you have knowledge of many varieties. However, this Additional methods apply more to broadcasting. They apply more to broadcasting. I said it again. These additional methods apply more to broadcasting. Now let us consider cumulative interest reporting. Let us look into that. Here, the reporter writes in such a way that the interest of the reader is built at the beginning and increase as the story continues again listen here the reporter writes in such a way that the interest of the reader is built at the beginning and increase as the story continues every part of the story increases the interest of the audience. Every part of the story increases the interest of the audience. Then, expansion of the story with sustained interest is ensured by this method. Let us consider the next one, suspended interest reporting. That is the next one, suspended interest reporting. In this kind of presentation, the reporter leaves the main reason of the story to the end. He draws the audience along, filling him with details. Yes, it may be odd, it may be a group of people. You may use them. Okay, let, let me use them here. He drags the audience along, feeding them with details until he gets to the bottom or the end of the story before saying what the story is all about. He drives the audience along, filling them with detailed information 
until he gets to the bottom or the end of the story before saying what the story is all about that's what i mean that's what i'm saying all right next one is um the chronological or sequence reporting chronological or sequence reporting chronological or sequence reporting as the name suggests reporting in sequence means narrating a story step by step in the order of occurrence yes i said it means narrating a story step by step in order of occurrence that is the usual way or normal way of telling stories it is an easy form of narrating stories and only for something that first things are mentioned first from the beginning of an event or happening to the end that is usually way or normal way of telling stories that is the usual way or normal way of telling stories it is an easy form of narrative stories and only emphasizing that and only emphasizing that first things it it is easy form of narrative stories and only emphasizes that first things are mentioned first from the beginning of an event or happening to the end okay we shall talk about uh, the new journalism it is called the new journalism yeah, this is important for you to note the new journalism the development of uh, this method believes that truth can best be reviewed through intensely personal styles of writing it relies on fictional techniques such as dialogue interior uh, monologue interior monologue and extensive use of description and scene setting practitioners of these styles allow themselves the maximum freedom of painting their own versions of truth rather than restricting themselves to direct quotes and documentable facts as is the case of objective reporting all right let's go to the next one which is the advocacy reporting advocacy reporting advocacy reporting yeah a reporter or mass medium a reporter or mass medium that has an agenda uses reporting to achieve its objectives they start by raising a point of view and gather evidence to support the view they start by raising a point of view and gather evidence to support the view their aim is not to achieve objectivity their aim is not to achieve objectivity in the report rather they work to present the strongest possible argument in support of their view example is cnn connect the world with Barry anderson you've been watching the, the yes you've been watching that program cnn connect cnn connect the world yeah, it's interesting. I know you, you must have gone through it. Okay. The next one is marketing approach. Marketing approach. We say marketing approach reporting. Marketing approach reporting. Writers using this type employ research to determine what the reader or viewers want and then develop stories to give it to them. I said again, writers using this star employ research to determine what the readers or viewers want and then develop stories to give it to them. The approach targets special groups with particular needs, interests, and point of view. 
He pays dividends in circulation or rating. And uh, the approach is gaining momentum as media competition for listenership and viewership increases. Yes, this is very, very, very clear. Like when you have a, you package your program for a particular group of people, for for you, or for the um, mommies and daddies at home. Now, the next one is infographic reporting. Infographic reporting. Infographic reporting. Stories with figures statistics and complex descriptions of events, locations or processes lend themselves to this new style. It makes use of charts, graphs, artwork and a short bullet style description to tell the story more efficiently and entertainingly than words alone could do. Example may include Al Jazeera's business latest and CNN's weather report. And we must uh, we must um, take cognizance of this. We must go uh, check this. It's important. The photojournalism, photojournalism. When pictures and words team up to tell a complete story. We call it photojournalism. Pictures powerfully capture attention and present messages with high impact and emotional power. Pictures also fail to answer many of the questions they raise. So, words must step up and complete the story. Although photojournalism does not fit into many stories. It may offer the most powerful and effective style of reporting yet to be developed because of its credibility and completeness. People trust and respond to photojournalism. Sports journalism is the next one. Sports journalism. Sports journalism. Sports journalism covers many aspects of human athletic competition and is an integral part of most journalism products, including newspapers, magazines, radio and television news. Some critics do not consider sports reporting as true journalism because they mostly do not follow the journalistic style. But prominence of sports competition and business of sports. A sports reporting involves a loser, creative and opinionated approach, unlike the traditional journalistic writing. However, there is emphasis on accuracy, underlying fairness in sport journalism. As such, the description of statistic performances of athletes is done with aptness. Yes, uh, we have examples here in NS post runoff. It's a good example of what we have just narrated. Now, let us continue. Uh, the next one here, we must um, study or in Bible is the science journalism. The science journalism. This is relatively a new branch of journalism in which reporters convey information on science topics to the public. It involves interpretation in a very detailed and technical manner. It is sometimes jargon laden and is rendered into interesting reports that are comprehensive to consumers of news media. Remember that it is not every development in science that is newsworthy, 
But the reporter chooses those that are that merit coverage, including disputes in the scientific community, with balance of fairness to both sides, but with a clear consideration of the facts. It is worthy of note that science or science reporters require training in the areas they cover, such as medicine, health, agriculture, and uh, all the rest, as many as possible. Typical example of science journalism is CNN's Vital Science. Vital Science. Yes, I've been using CNN most, mostly to give you examples because you can see that and everybody watches CNN. You can access CNN from any location. Yes. Now, let us go to guns, guns journalism, guns journalism, guns journalism. This type of reporting disregards the conventional journalistic writing forms and customs. It is noted for its rough language and punchy style. Just like in new journalism that applies literary fiction, the traditional objectivity of the journalist, the traditional objective of the journalist is given up. The reportage is given in first-hand participatory perspective, thereby applying a multidisciplinary approach on a particular story drawing from popular culture, sports, political, philosophical, and literary sources. Let me repeat that place again so that you can comprehend very well. I said the, rep the reportage is given in first-hand participatory perspective, thereby applying a multidisciplinary approach on a particular story drawing from popular culture, plus political, philosophical, and literary sources. Philosophical and literary sources. It is also referred to as electric journalism because it is untraditional and shares a lot with new journalism. Again, it is also referred to as electric journalism. Just note this. It is also referred to as electric journalism because it is untraditional and shares a lot with new journalism. Gonzo reporting remains future writing. And it is noted to be applied mostly by popular collection mag and magazines. Yes. Gonzo reporting remains future writing. And it is noted to be applied mostly by popular television and magazines. Next is celebrity journalism. Some people call it people journalism. So, celebrity or people journalism. People journalism. Another area of journalism that grew in the 20th century is celebrity or people journalism. It focuses on the personal lives of people, primarily celebrities, movie and stage actors, musical artists, model sports men and women and other notable people in the entertainment industry it also gives attention to those who seek attention like politicians and others it also gives attention to those who seek attention like politicians and others draws into the attention of public by doing newsworthy things it also gives attention to those who seek attention, like politicians, and others thrust into the attention of the public by doing these two things. This used to be the province 
This used to be the provinces of newspaper gossip columns and gossip TV programs. But today, it has become the focal of national tabloids and television channels. Celebrity journalism differs from futures writing because it focuses on people who are especially attractive and cover them obsessively. Sometimes the journalists behave unethically in order to provide coverage. Okay. Uh, we have convergence journalism. Convergence journalism as next one. Convergence journalism. Convergence, convergence journalism. This is an imagined form of journalism which combines different forms of journalism like print, photographic and video into one piece of a group of pieces. In other words, the characteristics of newspaper, magazines, radio and television are combined to present information to the public. Converted journalism can be found in the likes of CNN and many other news sites from the internet. That's by the way, let us go to ambush journalism. Ambush journalism. This is a type of journalism where reporters employ aggressive tactics to suddenly confront with and question people who otherwise do not wish to talk to any journalist. <laughs> Let me repeat this so that you can understand what I mean. I said it's a type of journalism where reporters employ aggressive tactics to suddenly confront with and question people who otherwise do not wish to talk to any journalist. It is normally practiced by television journalists conducting investigations this practice has it has been criticized of being unethical and sensational but some people defend it as the only way to get information from those subjects who do not want to make comment for a report so came was taken by reporters not to do it on private property to avoid being charged with trespassing. Now, uh, before we conclude, we must uh, uh, take a look at these two. They are important, they, they are very, very important. You can remember during your exams? Yes. Now here, the parachute uh, journalism, the parachute journalism, parachute journalism, Practic journalism. This is the type of reporting in which the reporters present reports directly from the scene of events. It is mostly employed by television and radio to present live reports from the location of events like crises and wars. Crises and wars. As events develop in a certain occurrence, the audience follows the trend of the event through the reportage of practical reporters working as correspondent for the broadcast stations. Let me repeat there, guys. It is mostly employed by television and radio to present. It is mostly employed by television and radio to present live reports from the location of events like crises and war as events develop in a certain occurrence the audience follows the trend of the event through the reportage of practical reporters working as correspondent for the broadcast stations the last one we must uh, consider here is um, the embedded journalism the embedded journalism this looks like practical journalism, but in independent journalism, reporters 
photographers these are sent to travel with soldiers to an area of fighting first they write report get photographs and a video recordings of the fighting and the activities of the soldiers on either side so you have too many examples you have too too many examples cnn correspondent going with niger delta militant to cover if they are hostage taken and so on and so forth what happened in uh, uh south sudan uh, what is happening in the northern nigeria media journalists um photo journalists going there to get the footage so that is part of the they are part of, uh, embedded journalism the embedded journalism well we have to stop so far we will stop so far so far and next time uh, we will continue please be rest assured that this lecture comes every wednesday you can go to Mianga hope for link of a uh, link to this uh, uh lecture meanwhile make sure you screenshot at the end watch and follow this lecture then screenshot at the end send it to my um facebook screenshot it and send it to my facebook so that i will mark your attendance that you participated on uh, the lecture thank you very much thank you very much for listening remain blessed